My name is Granit Jožnica. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Graz University of Technology in Austria, and today I will present the visualization-driven training for vibrotactile skin reading, which is our paper. Just a bit of context. A skin reading is conveying complex information through vibrotactile displays, and typically this is done by first encoding symbols, which would be letters or phonemes, and then expanding to words and sentences. And there's a lot of research done in this field, especially in finding locations, simulation methods, and also encodings. However, one of the pro problems that still persists is that training users is tedious and time consuming for users. And we aim with our research to make this as user-friendly as possible. Hence, we propose a uh, visualization-driven training method where uh, participants are trained using a visualization of activated uh, actuators that encode a certain symbol. To evaluate our proposed method, we performed a user study with 18 participants where we we compared our visual-based training method with a baseline. So as shown here in the slides, both methods used the audio stimulation, which spelled the encoded symbol, tactile stimulation, which simula stimulated the vibrotactile pattern that encodes the symbol, and a visual stimulation where both methods differ. So in our visual-based training, uh, the actuators that encode the symbol are visualized, whereas in the baseline, the encoded character is printed on the screen. This baseline is a very common way of uh, training participants and it's used in many studies before. We trained participants in four rounds of training. Overall, participants were able to recognize symbols that were trained using visual-based training significantly better than uh, symbols that were trained using classical training. However, the larger difference seemed to appear in earlier runs, whereas in the last round of training, uh, there were no significant differences as the differences dim diminish with more rounds of training. Uh, participants were able also to uh, reconstruct the pattern of that encodes the sim symbol significantly better in all the rounds combined as well as in the last round. Moreover, we performed an NASA TLX at the end of the training and we found out that the, there were significant less workload in training when using our visual-based training compared to the baseline. Participants also preferred our visual-based training significantly more than the baseline. To summarize, this paper proposes and evaluates a visual-oriented training approach for skin reading. Overall, participants will learn better with this method. However, the differences seem to be more prominent in the earlier round, and they seem to vanish in later round. Nevertheless, this provides a steeper learning curve for participants. Also, participants uh, experience less workload when training with this method and preferred it much more than the baseline. Thank you for your attention and I invite you to read our paper for more details.